and welcome back, everyone, to Kodelka. Now, we are... I'm reading the guard's diary right now just to see what's on it. Uh, guard's diary, June 1st, 1716. It's been two months since I left Canterbury. Owing my, sister, owing my stay at St. Clair's, Lord Webster had said that the weather would be warm at this time of the year, but still brisk in the fishing village mining coast. Oops. After days of being knocked about in the carriage, I finally arrived at Nemeton Prison, an evil-looking place, leering down on a barren plain from the top of a cliff battered by a chill sea breeze. Lord Webster told me to keep the strictest confidence. I cannot say what lies within the old lonely building, only that while I am still I am yet young. I have yet been my a guard many years. But I have never seen nor heard of a gal built in a place such as this. While Lord Webster didn't tell me much about the prison's history, it is easy to imagine that the part of this foreboding place stayed in quest uh, saying quite conspiracies and political struggles. Although I do not look forward to spending my days here, I have no choice. My family depends on it. So yeah, um, I'll go on ahead and I'll give these a couple seconds. You can actually read these if you want. Just gotta pause the video. Yeah, I'm not gonna, you know... I'm not gonna want to read all of these um, things at once. No... No, 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 no. So yeah, this is actually a, quite a bit of uh, reading here. So it's some backstory, I guess, to the place we're at, the prison. A.K.A. the monastery. A.K.A. this haunted fuck hole. My god. How much did he write in this? Okay, are we done? Okay. Do not grieve for me, dear sister. I will welcome them with open arms. As a fellow sufferer and sinner, Now, even now I hear footsteps. They're just outside my door. They... So apparently he had died. Um because of his actions at the prison as a guard, releasing all you know, a lot of these inmates apparently, from what I could gather. Okay, go back down to that floor. And go disc two. Now because we're so early in this episode, I'm not gonna quit the episode here. But you'll see probably a time, you'll probably see like a skip to where you don't see, you know, any of this stuff that's going to happen on screen, so. First, I got to get rid of these monsters here. Of course, because this is a, you know, an RPG. Random battle encounters that do tend to happen quite frequently. So let's see, make her use Megalith on that thing. Because that seems to be my most powerful magic right now. And make him move. Make him move forward. And attack it. And kaboosh! Bitch! And that thing's dead. Plain simple, this ain't dead. It's dead. See, it looks nice as a just a plain old dead body. It doesn't look very nice when it's up and running. Okay. So we'll move here, I guess, in case uh, I need to do some physical attacks with this thing, but I don't think so. I think Edward can kill it in one hit. It's dead. No, yes, it is dead. I was right. I wouldn't die right away. I was very worried about that, to be honest. Sorry about that. Uh, as I said, I was going to do the skip forward thing. So, yeah, it... Um, at, and now at this point, I don't know what I'm expecting, to be honest. So I am looking around as best I can, making sure that nothing is gone astray off my radar. 
Other than a fight, apparently. God damn it. What the hell is that thing? Ugh. Ugh, get away from me. Move closer and see what happens. See if it will heal it or if it will hurt it. Okay. The rapier does hurt it this time. Let's go on ahead and use the megalith on it. I want the thing dead right now. I don't want anything to do with it. So, who will you attack? Holy shit, I think it's hard. Oh my god, okay, um, action, I'll go on ahead and heal. But that was just dumb. A little shit on me, call me Shirley. Okay, gotta wait that one. Oh my god, this better be like, worth a bajillion points, you know, of XP here. That was a hurtful battle, that actually hurt a lot in that battle. Yes? Damn it. I got a new weapon! That's something. So I'm gonna go to this new weapon now. Going to equip it. Who needs it though? Nope. Does he need it? Nope. Does he need it? some dexterity and some agility but you know what actually no that's a lot of dexterity I'm losing though so I'm not gonna uh, risk it so I'm gonna up that because he is supposed to be a magic user as well how do we get out of here uh, I would think this is the way to get out of here. But apparently it's not, so we're about to explore some more. Got some pistol rounds. See, I picked up some pistol rounds earlier too, actually. I found a corpse. Um, outside of the room we were just in, actually. Antidote. Anything else? Nope. Power of corpses. Of corpses. God damn it. Uh, it's gonna be one of those episodes. Ah, uh, why are you upside down? Why do I remember you? I remember you. You have a gun. I don't like that you have a gun on you. Because that shit hurts. Okay, gonna move closer to it. I'm going to attack it. And I'm going to make her use Megalith on it again because I can. Him? I will make him heal her. I don't want her to die. I am for sure going up against tougher enemies now, as you can tell. I cannot believe how much damage that thing can just do. James, you suck. So it's 
time for me to just kind of wait it out. God damn it. Okay, so I'm going to attack it. Hopefully it's enough to kill it. Yep, it's enough to kill it. Cool. So now it's dead, but I have to heal Kodelka because she just got the shit kicked out of her with two shots. That's not fair. Not fair. Oh, never mind. She leveled. Okay. Um. Let's see here. Let's up her luck. Her agility. Her vite. Let's see, what's the theory? Her vitality and her dexterity. I really, won't, I won't really worry about her magic stuff too much because she's really good right now with that. Okay, Edward leveled. So I don't know. This might be a good place to grind a little bit, depending on how much the leveling I'm, I'm getting from these monsters. Um. Let's see. Oops. Wait, is it just healing? Use an attack and healing magic. He doesn't really... He don't use magic with Edward, so... Um, I'm going to up his... Up the piety. Up his... Actually, wait. Intelligence, okay. So I need to up his intelligence too. I'll up his vitality and his dexterity. There we go. How much more does James have until he levels? That's going to be the next question. So we're going to look at James real quick. Um, 25 hunt. Actually, he probably only has one or two more battles before he levels, which is not bad. There we go. For some odd reason, I couldn't open the gate up. No matter how much I clicked the X button. Darn. How does it look? You think we can get out? I don't think so. You'd need the strength of a bear to break those bars with your hands. What do you mean we can't get out? How hard can it be? Why don't you ask these guys? Damn it! Did you see that? Someone's in here. Will you shut up and get us out of here? How hard can it be for thieves like you to get us out of a place like this? Try saying that in the East End, holy man. Your severed head would hit the ground before you even finished the thought. This is worthless. I can't believe I'm wasting my time on you. I'm on a mission from God. This guy, I swear. Not that you have a prayer. I'm talking to three dead people. Nobody's gonna stay here. Nobody. So you died here as well? Yes. I died here too, hundreds and hundreds of years ago. They locked me up in here right after I was born. They beheaded me the day I turned nine. Happy birthday. I've been trapped here ever since. And no one even knows who I am. <laughs> My poor little angel. <laughs> Poor little angel, me. Save your pity for yourself. You'll be dead within three days. Not true. I don't know what your circumstances are, but I know that your mother loved you very, very much. My mother? Oh. I don't know her face, her name, where she came from. Nothing. You're telling me that means nothing? The day I was born, the day I died, no one would ever love me. And I never want to be loved. Just die! All of you! Just die! He says... He says, like, the most inappropriate things in the, mis in the most inappropriate times. Congratulations, James, you are a dumbass. I have a dumbass at my party. Oh, come on. I cannot believe I have a boss right here now. He's magic. I'm 
feeling he's using the magic, so I'm going to move him up there. Okay. We're now going to have to use magic. Let's see. Megalith on it. Hopefully that will deal some damage. Five. That's not bad. Yep, he's using magic, but I can tell from the stance that it was a magic stance. Oh, thank god, I did not hurt her. Oh my god. I was worried there for a second. I'm like, oh shit, honey. Yeah, let's go ahead and attack. Knocked him back. That's not bad. Uh, action, magic. He's Megalith on him again. Move him up one space and attack. Try to, you know, push him back as far as I can. So that way he has to be in the corner and he's screwed. I think he's dead now. I'm assuming he's dead. Please tell him to die. Okay! Works for me. And now he's level six finally. Go ahead and up his vitality tw two times, and up his um, his uh, piety twice. Hold on. There we go. Sorry about that. Sorry for the background noise. Um, I didn't realize there was a lot of background noise back there. Okay. So I have about... I have 300 more experience before I level him up to level 7. Got a rifle. It's not bad. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, I'm going to check to see if I can... Let's see, where's my rifle? Um, it'll be under equipment. Uh, let's see, what do I have? I'm recording what? Okay. A lot of these weapons, I don't know, it's really hard to call out with some of these weapons. Whether or not they'll be actually worth, uh, get or not. Ooh, what's that? Okay, I had to push X. What is that? Got a mace, I'm gonna pick it up. So, I'm gonna see how much a mace can do now. So it can't do jack shit for damage, but it can raise my magic. Um, I'm thinking at this point I might give it to Kodelka because she is my mostly my magic user. And see what happens. Alright, um, I'm going to do a, a save state here.
wait for it. There we go. You see a woman's corpse. From what's left, you can tell she's been di she had died horribly. How a lighthearted game this is. Knuckles. So, for those who want to actually beat people up, just double checking these. I'm I'm getting like actually some new stuff here. Bite knuckle. You know what? I might just give these to him because he's only losing about five strength. A lot of these are pretty much. Might as well try them out and hope for the best. I'm now in the battle. Let's see how these work. That's not a fugly thing. Oops. Damn it, I didn't want to go. Alright, it doesn't look looks like I don't have a choice. I didn't even mean to actually go you know, meant to go further than that, but oh well. Let's do tornado on it. sound it makes. Ow! Okay. Yeah, that actually hurt a bit, actually, to be honest. Ow! So the thing has high defense, actually, all around. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give up on the. I don't know yet if I might, I'm gonna have to give up on the uh, light knuckles or not yet. Because either way, she's leveled up, so that's good. I, that's good. She leveled up already. Um, go ahead and up her agility, dexterity, her intelligence, and her mind. See us up his. Uh, let's see. His vitality, his dexterity, his luck, and his. Mind. Wow, my god, these guys are just leveling. I'm loving this. I'm loving this a lot right now. Um. Okay, so going ahead and um, up his m vitality, his agility, his piety, and his mind. Got five whiskeys, which are reco are revival items, not recovery exactly, but revival. There's a name tag attached to the mummies. They read Valna and Vigna. See something green and shiny between the two bodies. Looks like the green key, but you can't get it. They're in the way. Um, I'm going to go on ahead. I'm going to do a new slot. So yes, um, I'll pull that away. Give us back our dolls. Run, get away while you still can. Huh. Okay. I have to fight, uh, looks like a mini bosses again. So, you know what? I'm going to get a weapon. I'm gonna use a rifle. I'm gonna wait. 
Oops. Um, action, magic, megalith on them. Because it's always best to use megalith on anything that's moving. Uh, move him up some spaces. He'll take the damage, but oh well. Action and attack. Did I just miss? I just missed with that shit. Can I run? Um, wait it out. So yeah, I can't hurt them. I don't think I can hurt them. to move them up slowly but carefully. supposed to be doing. I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, so I'm gonna go back and do no. Because apparently we're supposed to do something with this. So I need the green key to unlock that, but I'm gonna go back in there first. It feels like I might have missed something, especially I see that ladder right there. Um, why can't I climb out that? Okay, apparently I climb, can't climb up that. Hmm. What do I do? I'm I'm at a loss. I'm really am a at a loss of what to do on this. Uh, shit. You know, I might have to. Yeah, I might have to continue onward for right now until I can figure out what to do later. Maybe I might have to go back to them.
Got whiskey. Alright, we see some stuff right here. Um, okay, I don't know why I couldn't pick that up. It looks like something I could pick up, but maybe I was wrong. Uh, uh. Okay, I'm gonna move forward and be try to beat the shit out of it if I can. Uh, that thing's so grody. Okay, that thing hits hard. I think it's really hard, actually, like a hundred something, but at least it's not as bad as some of the other monsters I faced off again, where it's like two and a half hundred. Okay, I can't use that on them. Alright, so wait. But he's poison! He is poison! I just saw that he's poison, so it's good, I think. Oh shit! Oh, he's paralyzed, okay. So I have to switch out my weapons. Let's use the rifle, but minus the sucking this time. And wait. Now attack with the rifle. It's dead. And I think we're just about nearing the end of this particular episode. Which sucks, because we didn't get very far, I don't think. At least it felt like we didn't get very far. What's it doing? Okay, zero. But apparently my stats are high enough right now that I can survive a lot of magical attacks with Kodelka, which is good. So after this fight, I will use another save state, and I will continue, and I will pretty much end the episode here. There we go. That was pretty easy, actually. Let's see what I got from the battle. Waiting. Uh. I'm going to do a save state real quick. Okay, so I need an empty container. Rifle rounds, which is good. Okay, this is the boss. So. Until next time, everyone, on Let's Play Kodelka, this is your host, Scott Ioka. If you enjoyed these videos, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And until next time, when we face off against this boss right here, catch you later, everybody.